Marine charged in this case has been identified as Private First Class Avery Rosario. Now, his defense attorneys made it very clear today. His defense is that he thought she was 22 years old because they say that's what she told him on numerous occasions. Uh, they say she lied about several things. Now, we do a video of Private First Class Rosario going into the courthouse today with his two military attorneys who are basically uh, the equivalent of public defenders. He faces three counts of sexual assault of a child over the age of 12. Now, he is also charged with two counts of breach of restriction uh, for leaving base when he wasn't supposed to. That is related to an earlier case uh, that is not connected to this. Now, cameras are not allowed inside the courtroom, but I can tell you that uh, Private First Class Rosario showed no emotion as the charges were read to him. Uh, these charges are certainly a bit graphic. There were no witnesses presented by either side at today's preliminary hearing. Uh, the prosecution submitted 18 exhibits, including the accuser's Tinder profile, messages between her and the defendant, uh, photos of her videos of interviews done by NCIS. Now, we did not see any of this evidence. It was all submitted to the presiding officer in writing. But during the closing argument by defense, uh, they say messages between the defendant and accuser prove she was the one who initiated things between the two of them, and that evidence from social media proves uh, she lied about facts to investigators. So the presiding officer will take all of this information into account and then make his recommendation. Uh, the commanding officer then will have the final say on whether this case uh, moves to court martial. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.